Yo, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Eufy Robot Vacuum 11S Max, but make sure you guys stay locked in to the end of the video. And if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now, one of the things I like about this robot vacuum is that it's actually marked down from the price of $249 and it's going to be a price of $139.99 and this is the 11S Max model coming in the black color. Now, I've been using vacuums for cleaning my home ever since the Tham New that I actually did review a couple of years ago, but that one actually ran out of power. So I definitely was looking forward to trying out a new model. And so when I was gifted this for Christmas from my mother, I definitely decided to check this out because it's going to come with the cleaning brush as well as the brush for sweeping you're also going to get your remote included in the box is going to give you batteries so you could use it right from the jump and so i definitely think that the remote is going to give you some really cool features to actually control the vacuum it's going to offer a return to the charging base single room cleaning um, edge cleaning as well as spot cleaning and then you have a mode which will adjust suction power as well so you get three different power modes you also you get the standard power you get the one which gives you boosted iq so if you're actually using this thing on a carpet it's going to give you the ability to automatically get enhanced power and then you get maximum mode on here for sweeping harder surfaces so as you can see this is my old vacuum compared to the new one and they're roughly about the same size this one only just comes with one set of brushes whereas my older one had two brushes on each side but one of the things i like about the you know the eufy 11s max is that the filters will um give you you can get about six a pack for only like 10 bucks which is definitely something that's pretty cool this thing does also require some cleaning and maintenance. So when it comes to the dust collector, you're going to have to, you know, clean that every use. You also can clean the filters once a week, but every two months you're going to replace them. The rolling brush you can clean about once every week, but every six to 12 months, you're going to need to replace that. Also, the side brushes you should probably clean like once every month. And then those will also be needing a replacement every three to six months when they're visibly worn. You also have the brush guard, which is supposed to be cleaned every month and then, you know, replaced every three to six months if the rubber strip on the, you know, brush guard becomes visibly worn. So you definitely should clean the sensors, the charging pins, and the swivel wheel once every month as well. And so that's pretty much the basic maintenance that you need to keep this thing up and running for long periods of time. The remote also lets you manually control it. And I really like the remote because it's easy to actually change the modes from when you're using standard boost IQ or max mode. And then you can switch the type of cleaning if you want to do the quick cleaning, manual cleaning, edge cleaning or spot cleaning. And then you can also put a timer on here so that during the day it'll automatically clean up a certain like your entire house. And then when it's done, it'll return back to the charger or when it's low on battery. So I definitely think this is a pretty smart robot vacuum. It's going to offer not only the convenience of not having to, you know, like physically sweep every single day or whatever, but you could also set timers and routines for when you want this thing to clean your home. So I definitely think it's going to be a really nice, useful, you know, robot vac to have if you're the type of person who wants, you know, the, um, you know, convenience of using one of these. This vacuum also does have a powerful suction drop sensing technology. So the robot vacuum uses advanced sensors to detect drops to avoid falls like downstairs or off of ledges. It does have the ability to automatically, um, you know, move away from objects instead of colliding into them. So it doesn't bump into stuff around the house. 
and then it's got a smart return feature so you never have to worry about running out of juice because the vacuum automatically returns to the base when the battery is low it's good for people who want to clean up after pets and everything like that so you can clean up a lot of cat hair or dog hair and i definitely think that's going to be useful for people who want to keep a nice you know you know clean space when they're actually using this thing it will give you about a hundred minutes of battery on a single charge which is also another thing i like about it and if you keep up with it you can basically use this thing throughout the years um i would imagine it would be good for at least five years or so if you're able to keep up with all the maintenance on here and so it's compatible with amazon echo devices and so it's basically going to be a smart you know um device that you could use in the house and also you know it's not going to be too expensive right now because it's marked down more than halfway when it comes to the original price of this thing so you're definitely getting some really good value here and i definitely think it would be worth picking up it also it doesn't make too much noise when it's on the you know lowest setting when you turn it up to the max mode you will notice that the you know um sound will start to increase but it's not too annoying so you know it's definitely pretty good for just cleaning up around the house um if you're not the type of person who likes to sweep or whatever another thing i notice is that if you do have a carpet on the ground you will get like pieces of string trapped inside of the brush on the bottom which is going to basically get trapped every single time so one of the things i would recommend doing is if you have a carpet or a rug on the ground that you can actually pick up that's not like attached to the floor then i would pick that up first and then you know manually vacuum this thing with the remote control so i definitely would recommend doing that but as far as getting every single spot in your house this thing was really good because not only did it notice when things were in certain places it started to detect where they were so it would avoid them instead of bumping into them every single time but it did a pre pretty decent job when it came to the ai learning when it came to mapping out a space and trying to figure out how to avoid objects but still getting a good clean and um basically get doing a thorough job of cleaning each corner and crevice inside of your house do me a solid if you're still here just type in the comment section i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the youtube algorithm okay so when it comes to my final thoughts on the eufy 11s max i definitely think that the remote is cool because it does have the led um, display on there giving you a lot of functionality when using this vacuum it also does have a pretty decent noise level so it does remain you know at a really nice noise level so it's not too distracting when it's actually cleaning your house it's also pretty easy to clean and so if you just have to remove the dust and clean the filter most of the time when using this you would have to clean it with the brush because it's going to attract a lot of you know dirt in there and then just pop it right in and you're ready for the next cleaning session so let me know what you guys think about the eufy 11x max and i'm going to check you guys later i'm going to get back with you but if you're still here just type down below in the comment section i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and i'll hit you back i'll check you guys later peace